This is a multi-day adventure down the Spanish River, north of the Great Lakes. We're doing a multi-day trip in our 50-year-old vintage metal canoe. We will be camping along the river's course and hope for excellent conditions along the way. All right, so this will be our last campsite here. Or not our last campsite, tonight's campsite. And the river's down there. Portage around the rapids. Solo stove. Food barrels. And I'm down here. Oh, and toilet is this blue sign on the tree there. the commode and there ends our tour so you know most of the rapids have been pretty minor class one class two a lot of stuff that's too shallow there's not even a line like even if we portage the gear first so i'm just doing an inspection on the gear and uh just looking if you can see the uh any of these fresh scratches I don't know what it's going to look like in the final cut. But you see all these fresh scratches. We've been on the rocks quite a fair bit. Haven't lost any bolts or anything. No silicon is peeling. I've got a mending rods. I've got mending rods in the car so we can uh, braze it. Or uh, what's it called with the aluminum rods? Brazing, yeah. So we've got that in the car. But it uh, looks like the bolt will make it. So far, so good, guys. Hi, guys. It's the... Uh, it's beginning of day four. We're just getting things put away here. Again, waking up wet in the tent. Being right on the river, which is right over here. Being right on the river means that the, uh, the warm air, the warm, moist water steaming up out of these bu foaming, bubbling rapids hits, a con hits the colder condensation, the air around the tents at night and everything. Everything is around here is moldy, wet, signs of decay. It's just, uh, it's really, really wet. So I got the laundry line up. Everything's hanging. My sleeping bag got wet. I'll need a bivy or a, a heavier bag, I suppose. But I was warm at least up until I got out of the tent. So we're, uh, going to continue on down the river I'm a little concerned that we may or may not have enough food for the trip because our progress is so slow going um, we'll see how that goes as the day progresses 
Um, officially, we did look at the map finally, which is a big step in the right direction, I think. I'm glad to see that the other people on the trip are interested in looking at the map finally. Um, day four. We'll uh, do an inventory later on uh, the food stuffs. But as it is, the boat's in good condition. One of the paddles is starting to fail, which is fine because we brought a third or an extra, if you will. And we'll see. No bear sign or anything like that yet. Um, so the guys that were setting off the bear bangers a few nights ago, I think were just drunkies. I don't think that there actually was a bear. They just wanted to ruin our night. So, um, I'll get back to you when we uh, hit the road. Day four, where uh, I'm in the boat. Everything is pretty much good to go. We're gonna head on down river. Boat's still in fair condition. Fair. And um, I'm expecting a lot of swifts today. I don't know, I haven't really looked at the map, so it's all gonna be a surprise. Talk to you later. So here we are, we've been paddling. We've been paddling for about an hour. And we are at, you see the train bridge here. The train track runs all the way across. Can you front stroke on the right? All the way there. And this is called the flume. So if you put in at the flume, the train's dropping you somewhere here. I don't see, maybe here people get out. I don't know. I'm looking for a level spot. Met some guys yesterday that thought they were gonna run up this river according to the map. There's a campsite there. See if you can see the map here. The flume. I see it. I see the orange sign up there. Hey. I don't know. I wouldn't. And if we had more time, but we're, I'm scared we're running out of food. I'm really scared. We have like still 80 kilometers to do and you know, we haven't been making that great time yet. So, or else here I drop the fishing line where a river meets another river, guys. I know this is a fishing spot. There's just no time. Ciao for now. saying it's beautiful here but wow look at that mountain wow I almost want to hike it <laughs> right I, 
I've never seen such mountains here in Ontario. Yeah, we're not far off. I mean, from the highest point, you know. Wow. Although the river does go down. That's really cool. We're in the Superior region here, which is the top of the Great Lakes watershed. Not watershed, Great Lakes. Period. All right guys, so we stopped on the river. You've seen the campsite. Now, I'm going to prime the stove. And for lunch, we are going to have uh, uh, ready to go curry, just heat and serve with some minute rice, which I normally wouldn't eat, but I'm in the back country, so you can only go so, so gourmet. And I'm gonna put uh, crispy shallots on top, which will be really nice. I'll uh, check back in a minute once the water starts boiling. Wish you were here. Cut off the river here in the Swift. And we're going to stop and have a look at one of these sites. We've got a site marker here. And maybe have some lunch before we run a bunch of Swifts. Gotta eat. Yeah. We should grab the map and look. It's possible we could get the next two campsites which are probably really nice but let's have a look at this one this one's okay who cuts the grass in these places lots of tent spots i guess the loo's back there on this trail again a nice tent spot ferns everywhere and a hiking trail or something this way. Let's see where it goes. Yeah, so the river's been pretty good to us today. It's been fast at times. It was the best of times and it was the rest of times. All right. Beautiful sight here for hammocking. All these trees. And this just keeps going. I could tent anywhere here. This site could fit a dozen campers or more easily. All right, wish you were here. <laughs>